Neurology quiz number 24. What is monomelic amyotrophy or Hirayama disease? This is a rare condition characterized by initial progressive muscular weakness and wasting in the distal arm, typically in young men, followed by spontaneous arrest within several years. It is a sporadic disorder most commonly seen in young men between 15 to 30 years of age. It usually presents with focal weakness and atrophy in one arm involving the C7, C8 and T1 myotomes. It begins with weakness of the intrinsic hand muscles and then spreads over one to two years to involve forearm flexors and extensors. The brachioradialis muscle is spared. Deep tendon reflexes are normal or diminished and sensations are normal. After slow progression, the condition stabilizes in three to five years and progression stops. It can be associated with autonomic dysfunction with cold skin, excessive sweating and hair loss over the affected area, as well as exaggeration of weakness on exposure to cold, also known as cold paresis. Sometimes there may be asymmetric involvement of both upper extremities. Rarely involvement of a lower extremity has been described. The largest number of cases have been described from Japan, China and India. Pathogenesis. The condition is thought to result from insufficient growth of the dura relative to the vertebral column during puberty. This causes forward displacement of the dura during neck flexion, leading to compression of the spinal cord and ischemia of the anterior horn cells at C7, C8, T1. EMG and C shows chronic denervation in C7, C8, T1 innervated muscles with or without acute denervation potentials like fibrillations and positive sharp waves. Sensory studies are normal. MRI of the cervical spine may show atrophy in the lower cervical cord. Also seen are loss of posterior dural attachment on neutral images and on flexion there is forward displacement of the posterior dural sac and flattening of the spinal cord with a prominent posterior epidural venous plexus. Differential diagnosis includes ALS, spinal muscular atrophy, C8 T1 radiculopathy, syringomyelia, multifocal motor neuropathy and post polio syndrome. Treatment is usually conservative and a cervical collar and avoidance of prolonged forward neck flexion are recommended during the early or rapidly progressive phase of the disease. Rarely surgical intervention may be needed. This image shows a 20 year old patient with Hirayama disease. The image shows atrophy of the small muscles of the hand and forearm on the left side. A shows the arm in pronation and the arrow indicates sparing of the brachioradialis muscle and B shows the arm in supination. This is from Al Hashal et al. in case reports in neurology from September 17, 2020. Here image A shows a sagittal T2 cervical spine MRI in the neutral position showing a normal contour of the spinal cord and intramedullary high signal from C4 to C6 vertebra without cord compression. Image B shows sagittal T2 MRI in flex neck position showing anterior shifting of the posterior dural sac below C3 compressing the spinal cord from C3 to C6 vertebra. This is by you et al. from Annals of Rehabilitation Medicine in 2015. Which muscles are innervated by the suprascapular nerve? The suprascapular nerve arises from the upper trunk of the brachial plexus, C5, C6, and is the only branch of the plexus to arise from a trunk. It supplies the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles and sensations to the acromioclavicular and glenohumeral joints. After its origin, it crosses the posterior triangle of the neck, passes under the trapezius and through the suprascapular notch to the supraspinous fossa and supplies the supraspinatus muscle. It then curves around the spinoglenoid notch and enters the infraspinous fossa to supply the infraspinatus muscle. The supraspinatus muscle is responsible for the first 15 degrees of shoulder abduction, while the infraspinatus muscle is a lateral rotator of the shoulder. This nerve can be involved in brachial neuritis. It can be damaged by fractures of the scapula or shoulder trauma. Rarely, compression can occur in the suprascapular or spinoglenoid notch. 
It can be affected in athletes, particularly those participating in overhead sports such as volleyball, tennis and baseball. This is likely due to stretching of the nerve. The supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles can also be affected in a C5 radiculopathy. Here the first image shows the suprascapular nerve arising from the upper trunk and shows it passing through the suprascapular notch and the spinoglenoid notch while the second image shows the location of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles.